Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha. We ask for the blessing of all our gurus. My gurus, Sri M. B. Narasimhachari, the late master, and Guru Srimati Vasanta Lakshmi, their gurus, the great Rukmini Devi, and all the way back. And of course, Dr. Mahadevan's lineage as well. It is because of them and their extraordinary work in passing down this tradition and also carrying it forward with new choreography and new ideas that we are all here today. And I hope that all of you dancers will fall in love with this dance form and keep it in your heart your whole life and pass it down to your children. For 2,000 years or more, Bharatanatyam has been passed down from Guru to Sishya, from Rasika to Rasika, to our place here in Nashville. Let's see where I should stand so I don't feedback. <laughs> so as I said earlier, we will start with our beginning level students. The first group is presenting the basic steps of Bharatanatyam. These are called adabus, and they consist of stamping the feet on the floor in rhythmic patterns, using hand gestures, and body movements. Bharatanatyam is an exceedingly difficult dance form for a number of reasons. You have to sit with your knees bent, and that gets tiring. Stamping your feet in vigorous rhythmic patterns is also tiring. It's a very aerobic dance form. The arms have to be lifted up with the elbows straight and the fingers stretched, and those get tired as well. But most difficult is the coordination of all the different parts of the body. It is actually a form of yoga because in order to do Bharatanatyam well, one has to have one-pointed concentration. One cannot allow the concentration to be distracted by the outer surroundings or things that are happening. And for this reason, I think Bharatanatyam has lasted for so many millennia because it trains a human being to be as effective as possible, as aware as possible, as connected as possible. Because dance is a form of yoga, and yoga is that path which leads us to union. So these dancers are on the first step of their path. Um, this is a group of mixed age dancers. Every year for several years I have had a group of younger children, five to seven years old, and then a group of eight up through adults. So this is my older dancers. The youngest dancer here is, I believe, seven, but it goes on up to adult age. So they are presenting the basic steps in a choreography. I set them to um, a tilana in the raga behag, an instrumental tilana played on the veena and other instruments. And so they will be presenting all of the basic steps to this uh, music in a choreographed fashion. It's a large group. There are 14 dancers. We have a small stage. So I have done my best to present them so everybody gets the chance to come to the front and uh, depict or show several of the adabus. So dancers, you may come out and take your place now uh, in the wings. And here we are with what I call Behag Basic Steps Dance.
find it amazing. Five minutes dance for one year of work. <laughs> but you did a lovely job, girls. Thank you. And thank you for your patience in sticking with this difficult dance form. So I'm going to introduce them to you. And I'm going to start with the five girls in the front. I'm going to start here and end there. And then I'm going to come back and do the bigger circle around. So closest to me here is Tanvi Reddy Vangala. Then Jasmita Dharmana. Mohina Malhotra. Anika Aryan. Rhea Chaurasia. And coming to the back row, Janvi Archa. Onella Sharma. Sankamitra Ilangovan. Arshia Malhotra. Ruhi Gupta. Siona Bhattacharya. Hansika Krishna Dhonadula. Hannah Bhattacharya. And Gauri Bhartake. And I have to say that I would not have remembered those names, but for a tradition we do every year in which I have a certificate, we take their photograph and they put their photograph and then I do calligraphy with their name. So it's because of that that I can remember them. <laughs> Thank you, dancers. Thank you. Thank you. You can go off. Tandy, you can go off. Thank you. <laughs>